Hi, it's Dee with Tea Quilts, and I'm here to do another fabric haul where I purchase fabric from the marketplace. And for these bags, I have three bags, and they're all pretty good size. I say this is the medium size bag. And what I paid was I made two of those large size cell phone cases this time. She liked those, and so she wanted to do an exchange instead of me paying her five dollars a bag. So I am going to start dumping this bag out and then we'll see what's in it so here we have I guess a piece of flannel I'm not sure what this material is it stretches so I'm not sure what it is and it's like a cartoon but I'm not really sure what this is if someone knows what this is, please let me know. It says it is ranch right here. And you know what? I might, even though it's a different texture, I might keep this and make some crazy quilt blocks with it as a focus in some blocks. Next up, I have a piece of fabric here that's cotton. I can most definitely use this as some of my backings. And this fabric is so cold because I've had it in my car for a week. I just could not pull out anything else until I cleaned up some of my other areas. So I'm trying to put both ends together so I can see approximately how much yardage this is. Do the nose to the outstretched arm technique. So I'd say it's about three yards or a little bit shy of three if not. So that'll be a good starter piece for backing quilt, especially for charity. We've got a lot of lining kind of materials that I'm not going to keep. Look like a piece of wool where it was cutting out a jacket or something that I'm not going to keep. And I do have a lady that I uh, mentioned before in my previous videos that she will take this kind of stuff and stuff dog beds with it so that's what I plan to do with most of it I knew that she told me she had a lot of wool this time some more lining stuff so I don't expect a whole lot out of these bags more wool and some good yardage but I don't have time to keep it all and I don't have time to sort through it so I'm going to get rid of anything that I know I cannot use Here's a piece here. Again, not sure what this fabric is. It doesn't stretch. It just feels like it's a linen or something. So I probably will have to do like a test on it, but it looked like it's a pretty good chunk of it. So I'll go ahead and keep it. Just slide that over. <laughs> And that last fabric, if it is a linen, it is a very good quality. It's not that stretchy kind of linen or the thin linen. So I'm just going to put that over there. And that last piece can most definitely, again, be used as uh, backing. Now, this piece of wool feels like it might be one of those type of wools that I can wash. So I'm going to try to wash this and see if it felts up. So I'll put that one aside just some scraps here got something with pieces of pattern on it look like it's um, like the edging you put on t-shirts but I'm not gonna keep that now this is interesting this is some faux suede and I will most definitely keep this it's a purple color and it would be cute. I have some small ultra suede pieces that I've purchased. Actual ultra suede. This is not ultra suede. But I will keep that because I might can find something to do with that. And I almost have this bag emptied. And lo and behold, look what I just found. They have a bag 
that they were making with this African fabric. Chevron on the inside, African bag on the outside, and I think I am just going to take this apart and keep the African print. And I will probably cut out the chevron print as well and just use the scraps. But that'll be it for that. <laughs> Here's another piece of 100% cotton for the Game of Thrones. I know nothing about it, but it'll look good in a crumb blocks. Um, this is a piece of fabric being cut out of a pattern. Again, I can just use some of this. It looked like it was a sleeve. So I will just use this in a block. More of the ribbing kind of fabric. Don't know what that's called. I'm blocking right now. I haven't actually done clothes sewing in a very long time. So next Thursday, my gill meets. And so I'll just take all of this stuff and donate it up. So let me get the second bag. I'll be right back. I'm going to slide this one over here so that I can put more stuff in here. So here is bag number two. It's more like the smaller bag of everything that I've just gotten. So we will now start with this one. <laughs> now that's pretty funny that I've got fabric already wrapped onto cords like I kind of wrap it these are actual homespuns and I do have some homespuns in my stash so I'll just keep those and add it a piece of Easter egg fabrics this is flannel and let's see how much of it there is I want to say it's at least a half yard. I do have a few pieces of flannel. And I said that I was going to start making pillowcases for my family for Christmas. So I'll keep that piece since it's more of a neutral. Got some My Little Pony print. I can put that in some string blocks. I am going to be doing some string blocks that are STL Cardinal. So I can definitely keep that. This is all 100% cotton. This red hound's tooth, I don't need. I'll put that in there. Don't know what fiber that is. But all the rest of this right here is all cotton, so I'll keep it. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is a burlap, so I'll keep that. I don't have much burlap stuff. More 100% cotton. It's like gray stars. Very light. And a piece of muslin. And some red solid. It feels 100% cotton. And then another piece of 100% cotton. So I'll just keep all of the 100% cotton. <laughs> so this bag just might be the cotton bag. She told me this time that she had a friend that donated as well. So this is cotton. Some more Easter print. Now I have not seen this Easter print before. The Easter bunny. That's really cute. Mixed up in the egg. So all cotton. So this must have been a quilter. And this is a Christmas print. Very pretty. I think I know what I'm going to do with the Christmas prints. I'm going to put them aside. I got like a project that I'm working on. So maybe I will use these. So I'm going to put anything that could be red and green. I'm going to go ahead since I see that I got quite a few pieces over to the side. All cotton fabrics. So anything red. And this is cute. Uh, dog sounds. Haven't seen that one before. All 100% cotton. More of the other types of fabrics. Got a pin in here. I'm going to just take that out so I don't get stuck later. I'll stick it here in my long arm 
leader. Um, more Christmas. No, it's not. This is food. Pasta, veggies. Piece of patriotic print. Very pretty. So all 100% cottons right here. And then uh, some white scraps. So this is a great bag for me. I think everything in this bag is cotton. I'm going to take everything out the bag because I'm going to start filling it with stuff that I can put back. So one part of the bag is empty. It looked like it was a double bag inside, so I do have another outer bag, but I thought I need to clear some of it out. So some more cotton fabrics. The block that I'm doing is going to be using more like old style beige tone on tone, not pure whites. So that's why I did not put certain prints in there. These snowflakes won't go with what I'm doing. This red will work. And so with that maroon, this colors will work. Ooh, got football fabric. Don't have that. And then another piece of the baseball prints. So you all know I'm working on my Cardinals quilt. So I'm going to go see if I can find that other piece of baseball fabric. Because I think I put it in here instead of putting it to the side. Yeah, so I got the baseball fabrics out. And more cotton, just solid white. Uh, bloom where you're planted. I've seen this one before. More seasonal prints. Snowman. So this one was really good. This print it reminds me of Debbie, Debbie Mum, but it's not. It's Beth Yarbrough for Spring Industries. Nice piece. I'll put that over there as well. This one has a white background. Some hearts. Another piece of flannel here. Long as it's at least the. This is more like a fat quarter of flannel. So we'll just put it to the side. I'm not sure yet if I'm keeping that. Tone on tone. Another piece of fabric that's a good size. A stripe. That's rulers. Very pretty. Another piece of baseball fabric. And then the rest of it is kind of just tone on tone muslins. Same piece of baseball fabric here. And then a nice little background fabric there. So, here's the rest of the bag. <laughs> Still all 100% cottons, just tone on tones. Seasonal stuff again here. I've got some greens. I'll put that over there. Some candy cane. Pink with like triangles in it. And then some of the triangles are colored in. Very interesting piece of green solid. I can put that over there. This is interesting. It says bonjour. So it's a Paris. Eiffel Tower is here. Another scrap, more of a 30s print here. And my camera battery is flashing. Piece of Cardinals fabric. A good chunk of green here. So this one was a really good scrap bag. Butterflies. It's beautiful. I haven't seen this one before. Some pink. I don't know what this is, but it's like a quilting grid, diagonal on point. Very pretty. Don't have that. Here is Minnie Mouse fabric in hearts. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, pretty aisles. Just loving this bag. 
I love this purple as well. Another piece. Some pink. With hexagons. And then a piece of red. That's pretty as well. So I think I am very thankful for this bag. Just loving it. Piece of green with gold, white, some more Christmas stuff here. So somebody must have cleaned out their quilting stash. And I am the lucky recipient. So thank you so much. So that's it for this bag. I have the only cotton pieces I did not put back in this bag were the red ones that I took out for Christmas and these few back here. And so I have this entire bag of scraps here. So let me get the last bag. So this is my last bag here. And I'm thinking that it's going to be more like dress material. So hoping my camera battery holds up. And let's get started. Oh my gosh. It's more quilting fabrics, y'all. Look at that. This whole entire bag. I'm gonna just set that aside. Maybe she just tossed that on the top. We've got a piece of fleece, scraps. So all of this kind of stuff, I will just put into the bag. We've got a piece of fabric that's kind of silky-ish. And I don't know what this character is. I'm just going to put it all into the bag. Piece of black felt. Um, pretty nice texture. Print is stretchy here. A lot of yardage of it. A whole lot of yardage. I don't know what I would do with it, so I'm going to temporarily just put it into this bag. Let somebody else have it. And look like another piece of wool. It feels like it might be a wool with rayon in it. It's very thin. A lot of yardage though. But I am not going to take that one. Here's another piece of wool. And this is the wool that I feel will felt very well. So I will try to wash it and see if it felt a lot of yardage of that. And then we have some fleece. Now I'm actually going to put this bag inside of the green bag so that it doesn't tear. And now we're going to look into this bag. Like I said, most of it is 100% cotton. I do have a few fleece scraps here. So I will just take those out. And then in case my battery camera dies, I'm just going to um, leave it here. But I'll go ahead and close. If you like these type of videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you can see when I'm uploading and when I also go live. And thank you all so much for watching. If you want to still stay around till my battery runs out, please do so. Here's a piece of lime. Green. Light color. More of that uh, background fabric we've seen before. Lots more of the cardinal prints. Got a um, Christmas print here. Is it Christmas? It looks Christmas. Yes, it says, have a holly jolly Christmas. So let's open this up. It's a panel and I will most definitely keep this. Then over the river and through the woods is what's inside of the reindeer's head. And that's it. Just those two panels, but really pretty. Halloween fabrics here. I never seen this before. I have stopped buying Halloween fabrics because I got so many I used to make a lot of quilts for Halloween spiders Just just scraps all 100% cotton 
Got Mizzou fabric. I also made a Mizzou quilt. I gotta make something else to go with it. And look at here. This is beautiful. Now I do not have this. That's gorgeous. I'm just gonna set it aside with the Cardinals prints. But yes, I am having so much fun with this one. Got wine glasses or goblets. And I think this is Dark Panther. I'm not sure. Don't <laughs> quote me on that. Please correct me in the comment section. I'll be okay with it. Uh, spots. I don't look at a lot of cartoon stuff or basically any cartoon stuff for real. So you got some anchor. Some there. Some brown hearts. And I'm trying to just show you some of these before my camera got more of that red. Here's a print that's got some music bars on it. Hoping you can see that. <clears throat> Black. Black prints. Pretty. Another pretty print. It's got some gold in this orangey fall print. Fall leaves. Brown and pink. I made a brown and pink quilt once. Piece of brown. Let's see what this print is. It's a Halloween one. It's got all kinds of words. Pumpkin, candy, boo, ghoul, vampire, spell, skeleton, spider, supernatural, house of horror. Pretty cool. More light stuff. I love getting light scraps too. Fall stuff. Got some more owls. Fire trucks, police cars, ambulance. This is another one of those pad things. I'll just put it in the bag. I gave all those to the girl so she can do what she wants with them. Another piece of Mizzou print. Some doggies made in a bag that I'll just cut up and put into some strings. This is a bag as well. I don't know what it is because... It's weird when they have, she has stuff stitched here and then it's taken out. But it's closed here. So I have no idea what was done with this. I have absolutely no idea. Weird. But I'm going to just cut them all up. <laughs> if anybody know what these are, please let me know. One end is completely closed off. The other end was closed and open, but there's a stitch right here. So I don't know what they were making with those. Some more Christmas stuff. And some black with red. That's pretty. This is just white muslin. And we've got some orange sunburst like. <laughs> more bunnies. Older print. Some older prints here. A piece of solid. More of that. Piece of brown here. This red is the same as what I've shown before. Got a pretty piece of pumpkin print. It's a pumpkin patch. Another fall piece. So somebody must be cleaning their stuff out. So a good chunk of this but it's not the entire width. I'd say they're about six to eight inch strips, but a lot of it. Very nice. And some dots. Mm -hmm. 